My name is Hannah Dalton and I'm 25 years old. I'm training to be a clinical scientist in the NHS. I'm currently in my part two of training and for this I've been seconded to Designability, the Bath Institute of Medical Engineering. When I was in school I didn't know what I wanted to do and I was really good at maths and I really loved resistant materials and I really loved biology and I did want to do medicine but it wasn't quite the right route for me and my chemistry teacher suggested to me what about medical engineering? The NHS training scheme it is a challenging scheme but it's meant to be challenging and the training is so diverse, it gives you lots of opportunities to experience so many different things. The highlight of my training so far is when you're with the patients and you are handing over the device that you've designed and manufactured and how happy they are with what you've given them and how actually it's going to improve their life so much. It's so pleasing when you walk away from somewhere when you know you've made that difference. My name is Razam Ali Azizi and I'm a medical engineer. Right at the back of your eye, you have got what we call retina. And you're looking at the health of that section of the eye by putting an electrode, dropping an electrode onto the surface of the eye, flash some light at, at front of the patient on a monitor or screen. So that's, that's actually part of my PhD. As part of it, I need to, to come up with new methods of doing the same routine clinical uh, tests that we are doing at the moment, you've got to have impact. If you're working in NHS, you've got to have patient impact. It's a wide area and it's very stimulating and it's very challenging because it's, you're not on your own. You are in a working environment, working with others. You constantly have things to do and you have got patients, you've got clinics, you've got research, you've got the whole bunch. My name is Jan Goshevsky and I'm 25 years old. So I'm currently studying a PhD in biomechanics here at the University of Bath. Uh, since I was a kid, I kind of always had um, loads of energy. Well, my, my main sport is judo, but I really enjoy team sports. You know, you need to be disciplined and focused, both both in sport and in studying. So yeah, I'd say I'm British number one in, in the under 73 kilo weight class. I've always, always uh, knew I wanted to do medical engineering. I got a few job offers, but I felt that um, for me personally, the best direction to go in was uh, to start a PhD because that would allow to uh, continue with my uh, sporting activities. And I'm uh, researching the total hip replacement methods. So in a bit more specific way, I'm looking at the cementing technique used to fix the hip cup in the pelvis. So you, you really have to be very motivated and, and driven because of you're in charge of the work you're doing. Um, you know, you, you don't have a boss telling you what to do. The, that drive has to come from within. So uh, working as a medical engineer is, is really, really difficult, requires a, a lot of hard work and graft. It's also very interesting, um, but the main driver is uh, that awareness that you know the work you're doing is, is positively affecting the quality of other people's life. And, for, for me personally, that's a really, really big driver. I'm so glad I chose sciences for my A-levels because it opened up so many doors when I was trying to choose the course I wanted to do at university. Whatever work you'll be doing will directly uh, be impacting other people's lives and positively. There's not many jobs where you can do that. Whenever you see happy patient or whenever you see that you are making a difference and you feel that you're making a difference it's the best reward that anybody can have